Hey everyone, once bitten here with another battle report. So I'm facing the same Skaven army that I've played a lot recently. Uh, probably will play it over the next few weeks, uh, one or two more times, and then sadly I'll probably never play it again. So uh, sorry for so many Skaven reports back to back, but I've really played Skaven very little over the last couple years, and um, it's just worked out recently where I'm playing them a lot. So anyway, I, I brought out my tournament list because I'm facing his tournament list and the big tournament is coming up in a few weeks so we thought we'd you know I'd better get some practice in I affectionately call the game the Doom Bowl and the Woodshed Beastman versus Skaven 2400 points starting on the left got a, a Doom Wheel some giant rats warp lightning cannon a bunch of plague monks with the plague furnace with the plague banner and of course the plague priest uh, it's got level 2 there's a weapons team a bunch of storm vermin uh, with a gleaming pennant in there's his battle standard bearer as well as a warlock engineer another weapons team some clan rats in with, uh, there's a character with clan rats I'll get to him in just a second then there's another warp lightning cannon some more rats and another doom will and his general is this level four gray seer and he always takes two spells from plague and two from uh, ruin I guess and he got uh, wither and plague so two the, the, just awful awful that he has those two uh, and the big problem is pretty much any magic phase he the casting values are low enough he's going to be able to cast both of them and I will usually only be able to dispel one and it's a win for him because it doesn't matter which one I dispel the other one is very 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 nice so starting on the left I got some harpies a horde of bestigor with standard of discipline in with them is my general who's a great bray level four beasts other than that he has nothing on him because I couldn't afford the points because I have my doom bull who's got a one-up rerollable armor save which gives him extra attacks the always strikes first sword and the other trickster shard and uh, yeah that's just, just my favorite model I play with uh, of course the doom bulls in with a few minotaurs there's no command in that in that unit then I've got a horde of gore with extra hand weapons uh, I've got my battle standard bear in there as well as a level two so my thinking with the level two is that I'll use my level four to get his spells first uh, so that my level two has a very very good chance of getting uh, transformation of Kadan he's got a power scroll so at least once per game he should be able to get it relatively easily now just as a you know as an omen of how this game was going to go when when it came time to roll for my level two spells Really, if I rolled anything except a 1 and a 2, I would be able to get Transformation of Kadan because my, my level 4 had taken three of the other spells. And so I went to roll for spells, and I rolled a 1 and a 2. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a, he doesn't have Transformation in this game. Anyway, Tusk score Chariot, some more Harpies. We go to Beastman turn 1. I move up, as you can see. Uh, during the Magic Phase, I got off a big version of Amber Spear on one of his Warp Lightning Cannons and um, uh, he scrolled it that's right so other than that really no spells went off uh, and uh, at least I got a scroll out of the game so for the most part it looks like that and we go to Skaven turn one uh, if anything he moves back uh, with most of his, his uh, big units Doomwheel of course comes up as do his, his rats uh, this one really zoomed up and then his rats here came to redirect my my horde uh, you can notice the horde is is down by over a quarter that's because he uh, yeah he cast wither I, I had to stop wither so then he cast plague and I had to take a toughness test for everybody in the unit and I lost a quarter of them so I should have lost a third so I probably rolled slightly above average there but still, that's going to hurt. Even with that many, I think I'm I'm still okay. The problem isn't that one spell being cast. It's, is he going to be able to cast this every turn? So there's another angle of it. Uh, during In his shooting attack, his weapons team, I think, misfired, and it kind of blew up some clan rats, but, you know, nobody really cared. Uh, over here is Doomwheel during the shooting phase, misfired, and just kind of went in a random direction. And over here, one of his warp lightning cannons scored a direct hit. And that thing's brutal, because first off, it hits like a cannon. So that one killed one Minotaur. And then it's it scored a direct hit. And so then it scored, it hit everybody else. And of course, at that point, my my uh, Doom Bull does not get a lookout, sir. So luckily, he only took one wound. Because that thing, not only is it strength five, I think, 
but it does d6 wounds each. So every time he's hitting a Minotaur, you know, strength 5, maybe even strength 6, it does, whatever, if he wounds him, it's doing d6 wounds. So one Warp, Link, Warp Lightning Cannon hit it and just cut the unit in half, put one wound on my Doom Bowl. Then the other one scored a direct hit, wiped out the unit completely, has four wounds on my Doom Bowl. I'm sitting there, I believe, on one wound. And then his, um, I think over here, this was his Doom Rocket, hits my Bestigore unit and cuts them in half. So I'm looking at, it's turn one, I've done nothing but move up, and half my army is off the board. Or it feels like half my army is off the board. So what can you do? Um, uh, Beastman turn two, I charge the redirectors as you can see. Uh, over here I'm hoping I can, my thought was beat these rats easily and then overrun into the into the um, plague monks uh, that might make it to where his storm vermin cannot counter charge because the weapons team I don't think by that point would be able to see my guys so he couldn't charge and uh, I didn't think the storm vermin would be able to charge around it so I'm thinking that's my best hope here is to um, is just to get a long overrun uh, over here on the right charge his his rats and then I'm I'm thinking I'm going to overrun should get into the flank of the doom wheel and should easily uh, kill the doom wheel and then uh, reform and we'll be facing the uh, to, I can face it to where I can go outside around that house so I'm actually not unhappy with how things look here on the right hand side uh, after combat, yeah, we overrun to the Doom Wheel. It's dead. My Chariot has three wounds, but for the most part, we're okay. Uh, over here, during the Magic Phase, I got Weissen's Wild Form off twice on this unit. So uh, I don't need the Strength so much, but I am Toughness 6 now. So I'm thinking if he comes in, it's going to be very difficult for him to get past my, my very, very high Toughness. I'm hoping that can save this unit. And with being Strength 8, uh, I might be able to take out that Plague Furnace. So we go to Skaven turn two. Overall, the board looks like this. Uh, over here, I really felt that his best move at this point, uh, because I didn't overrun into his Plague Monks, his Storm Vermin on the right could have seen me. I really think his best option was to charge the Storm Vermin into my flank. There's no way I could flee because the Doom Wheel would easily catch me, and he'd just beat me through combat res. But he didn't see it, didn't think about it, so he just charged in with his, his uh, Monks and with his Doom Wheel. And I'm thinking I actually have a chance here because, I, again, I'm toughness 6, strength 8. Uh, we should be doing okay. Uh, over here it looks like that. He's he. I think he could have tried to charge my Doom Bowl. He doesn't want to. He just wants to shoot at him. And it looks like that. Yeah, this is another, um, another plague. Again, I stopped Wither. I have to stop Wither because if I don't and then Plague goes off, I'm really screwed. But once I stop with her, then he just gets off Plague, and this time he takes the unit, kills it by another third. Um, he does some kind of shooting at the Harpies, because he didn't want me charging his Warp Lightning Cannon, and they failed. Uh, I think if you do, if you take one wound, you have to take a Panic Test, and they failed it, so they ran away. Uh, over here, yeah, by the time I, I got to strike with my Bestigors, I had five of them left, I think. I mean, it didn't matter that I was Strength 6. He absolutely annihilated, annihilated the whole unit. Now it didn't hurt him that he could reroll to hit and to wound, and then he just had so many attacks with the horde of monks. I think the ones in the front row had three attacks each. Um, my guess is they have two attacks each normally and they're frenzied. And then he gets the extra rank with being horde. Oh my gosh. He he tore <laughs> those best of gores a new one. Uh, the Doom will overran into the Harpies. You go to Beastman turn three, overall the board looks like that. If you look in the upper right uh, I have a unit of ambushing gore that finally came on on the third turn. Yeah, over here, took the Doom Bull into his, his guys. One, because I love the fact that he has extra attacks, because I've they're only strength three, I've got a one-up rerollable, and I, sh I really, for the most part, I should save all of them. Uh, if, he gets, if I get unlucky once, I'm dead, but if I don't get into combat, I'm dead anyway. Uh, so I think the Doom Bull's gonna going to put the hurt on that unit. Uh, over here, it looks like, I'm, it looks like I'm in combat with both. I'm not. It's just my guys against his. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I'm depleted. I'm down to, what, 19 guys. But I still have the Beast Banner. These are clan rats. I've got two attacks each on the front rank. Uh, I, sh I should be able to do a lot of hurt here. He'll be steadfast, but it takes one unlucky roll, and he's off the table. So 
or maybe two, because I think it's BSBs nearby. But anyway, at, at least for the most part, it feels like uh, I'm a little bit protected. Not really, because he can cast Wither into combat, and I think he can cast Plague into combat, so yeah. Otherwise, the board looks like that. I charged my Chariot into his Warp Lightning Cannon. I actually rolled plenty high to get it, but because my Horde made it, made it there first, I couldn't reach, couldn't get past him. So this was crazy. So I charge in there. I actually lose combat to these guys. I mean, the, it was crazy. But anyway, so then I just reformed so that I could uh, charge my Chariot next turn. Uh, over here... This was even crazier. So I go in. The Doom Bull's just rocking it. I mean, he gets his impact hits. He kills a bunch of guys with his attacks. His guys attack me, and I was a little bit disappointed because he ended up only doing two wounds on me, and I've got a one-up rerollable. So I, I take the two dice, I roll it, and I roll Snake Eyes. So I get to reroll them, and then I roll a one, and my Doom Bull dies. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I see how this game's gonna be. So we go to Scaventon 3, there's nothing to do. Anything of importance I had on the table is gone. So over here, yeah, he um, he lowered my toughness. At the, that's what that yellow token is for. And then his clan rats, two point apiece clan rats, are absolutely kicking tail over my eight point apiece gore. Uh, let's see, Beastman turn four. My, my gore on the right failed their charge. My chariot makes it. I was really hoping the gore would make it so they could overrun into the flank of that clan rat unit and maybe help out. Because those clan rats are tearing up my guys. I had a Weiss's Wild Form, and it didn't matter. It doesn't matter a bit. <laughs> of course, my guys are base toughness 3 now, so it's easy to wound them. Just ugliness. Ugliness. We go to Skaven turn 4. Uh, he's moving his stuff around. Takes his, his Doom Will into the rear of my now toughness 2. Um, I'm toughness 3 only because of Weiss's. Of course, he gets to charge in there, and then during the shooting phase, he gets to shoot at me, and then he gets impact hits, and it's just ugly all the way around. Uh, some kind of shooting beats these guys down a little bit. Uh, after the shooting phase, there's nothing left but my war gore. After combat, there's nothing left whatsoever. So we go to my turn. The chariot was off the table, so he comes back on the table. My uh, gore failed their charge against the doom wheel. So we go to his turn. Doomwheel charges into the chariot. He does some more. Sh he uh, lowers the toughness on these guys, and then I think he shoots them. Whatever. They're they're worthless at this point anyway. Doomwheel makes very short work of my chariot. So I charge into the flank of his Doomwheel. Win. Overrun into his clan rats. Skaven turn six. His plague mugs are coming to the corner because we're playing a scenario where you try to get to each other's back corner, and it didn't matter anyway because he tabled me. And if you look at the very top right, I, charged, I got a charge into his clan rats, and his clan rats destroyed my, the, my remaining gore. Those are the biggest, baddest clan rats I've ever seen in my life. Those guys were tearing up everything I threw at them. So just a just a woodshed beating for the beastman Doom Bull combo. It was ugly. I I really don't know what to do about that. I mean, part of me is hoping that he just got really lucky. I mean, he was getting a lot of direct hits with his uh, warp lightning cannons. But, oh my gosh, I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I'm very, very open um, to suggestions there. I really just didn't have the range to do anything. I had one turn to get one of his Warp Lightnings off. He used a scroll, and after that, his Warp Lightning cannons tore me a new one. And his combo spells of Wither and Plague, he doesn't even need them in, in, in combination with each other. He just needs to get one or the other off, and it just was devastating. So that was it. We're going to try again with the Doom Bowl build, so I hopefully can uh, get some more confidence with it going into the tournament. Hope you enjoyed it.